So our last race from Main Tree on uh, day one, week six, is the Grand Seft and Handicap Chase over the extended two miles, five furlong. So Creaking Piggy him for David Ladd along with Capstick on the under. Access Prospector for Hens, Eleanor Rigby for Martin Leadham, Linford Skipper for Pontypool Racing, Pure Force for Craig Beckwith, Rhea Coronas for Alex Cherry, Jenny Jingle for Thomas Rogers, Arch Angel for Joshua Southern, the favourite, Locked In for James Shea, Astro Charm Glances for Martin Leadham, Laser Clarity for Paul O'Neill, All Guns Firing for Vinnie Gerrard, Need a Miracle and Clear Patra for Paul Rhodes, LB Pius for Thomas Rogers and Bill Bill Lilly for Ryan Costello, 17 of them, over the Grand National Fences. Extended two and a half miles. So we've got to wait for them to settle down. Let's start alongside the grandstand. Get to the first of the 17. Everybody's over it. Ends up leaving us a Linford Skittler and uh, known front runner. All guns firing. As usual, he's come to the firing. Come to the second. It's a big ditch. Everybody jumps it well. A couple of slower jumps towards the rear. Astro Trump glances and Ella and Rigby didn't take it particularly well. They get to the third, which is the water. All successfully negotiate it. Swing left handed now. It's a tight bend. One's going wide. Uh, Bill Bill Lily. I think that's Astro Charm glances the great. Get back into the straight and run to the next. It's all guns firing. Pure Force and Linford Skittler. Back to rear Coronas. You've got Creaking Peking and Cleopatra. Locked in, being pushed along. Need a miracle on his outside. Lays a clarity between those. And thanks back to Assex. Assex, Prospector, and Jenny Jingle together in the green silks. And the great Capstick Oleander as I go to the fourth. We jumped it. Still poor jumps at the rear by Martin Liedemann's uh, Eleanor Rigby and Astro Charm glances. Straight into the fifth. Uh, and we lost one. Eleanor Rigby's gone. Eleanor Rigby, do 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 do. You fell off your horse. You shouldn't be racing. They all stream over the six. I'm still standing, bar Eleanor Rigby. A length and a half to. Sorry, all guns firing takes the seventh. Jumps it well. A length and a half from Pure Force and Linford Skittler. And three together, Greek and Peking, Real Coronas and Cleopatra. And half back to Need a Miracle, Capstick all down. We lost the leader. All guns firing. And another one's gone. Oh no, it's just all guns firing that I saw as we swift by. Didn't get into that well and he's gone. Connections there. Not firing so well today. I think it was a Vinnie Gerard horse. We get to the ninth. She's beaches. We're all over it. Being led by Linford Skittler and Pure Force. Freaking peaking in third. Cleopatra and Need a Miracle. Oh, we lost another. Pure Force has gone now. It seems to be if you're up front, you're in trouble. So it's allowed Linford Skipper to lead now from Creaking Peaking. Still another six fences to go. Cleopatra is in third. Gets the canal turn. It's time the leader gets over it, as they all do. And it is Linford Skittler. He's by about five now as Cleopatra just drops back alongside Creaking Peaking and Rear Coronas. We go to the 12th. And still Linford Skipper by three to Cleopatra, Creaking Peking, Rear Coronas, Capstick Oil, Leander, Laser Clarity, and Archangel as they go over the 13th. Jumps it well. Comes the rear Astro Charm, still not taking them particularly well. Looks like another chance of the fall up. We go to the 14th. And we lost one there. It's Capstick Oil, Leander that's gone. Another one falls. Come down to six furlongs from home. It's Linford Skipper and Cleopatra creaking, peaking, and rear coronas. Here, one, two, three, four. If we go to the 15th, poor jump there by Cleopatra in second. Shuffles back down. Lounge creaking, peaking to take second place on his own. Even well now, a rear, a rear coronas and archangel on the wide outside is Need a Miracle. But we're still being led by Linford Skipper inside the five. But they're ganging up on him now. But it's Linford Skipper still. And creaking, peaking on the inside. Cleopatra and Need a Miracle pushing through well now. It's Assex, Pros Assex Prospector. And also Archangel as they throw down a chance with half a mile to go. It's Assess Prospector that takes it up with Archangel following him through. Limpid Skipper's not got a lot left. Real Coronas is making up some ground out wide as Need a Miracle, but it is Access Prospector. Leads by a length and a half over the 
16th the penultimate is only going to be one to jump for the neck and neck now Archangel and Access Prospector Access Prospector just takes it up now by a half a length as we come down to a quarter of a mile from home just one to jump Access Prospector from Archangel has got anything left gets over it a little bit better running really well now is Rhea Coronas and moves up another gear is Archangel here Archangel takes on by a length and a half from Access Prospector Rhea Coronas is running on inside the furlong and they're going to be able to run him down here I don't think so Archangel here comes Rhea Coronas he's going to try inside the final half Archangel hanging on where's the line but here comes Rhea Coronas for Alex Cherry Alex Cherry over the top with Rhea Coronas he's timed it to perfection Rhea Coronas takes it from Archangel Alex Cherry will well chuckle his finish on his horse there gets a win takes the Grand Sefton handicap chase from uh, just gets up. Jockey stops riding on Archangel. Gives the win to Alex Cherry's rear Coronas. Archangel was second for Joshua Southern. Access Prospect had his chances. Was third for Hems. Carried a bit too much weight. Astro Charm glances for Mike Lee and go up to fourth. I don't know how. And fifth was Linford Skitler for Pontypool Racing.